Hello, Sagittarius. You have the High Priestess and I Want You card. Um, thank you for viewing this content and supporting my little baby channel. If you could leave a comment or hit the like button, that will help me to grow and I so appreciate it. So this week is a major week. There's a lot of drama, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of joy, a lot of goodwill and generosity coming through and I see that you have taken full advantage of that. Uh, everybody's talking about Jupiter entering re-entering Aries. That's important because it makes contact with the Sun and when that happens it can give you a sense of well-being and you don't have to be an Aries to feel that well-being. I think you already embody that energy anyway and you have such self-confidence and exuberance and enthusiasm. You are a breath of life. So for you, it can only get better from here. Uh, some of you are definitely in a uh, committed relationship and there may be a little bit of drama going on in your household for some of you. Um, if that's happening, it's you just need to uh, stay calm the drama will subside but you have to you have to allow for some patience a little bit of extra space and the two of you working as a team will be able to work through those challenges and as long as you remain cool and you don't make any um, you know, don't make any sudden moves. Don't get on your high horse, excuse the pun, or try to, um, you know, force something. It will work out. And if you are single and you're dating or needing or meeting new people, there's somebody who's paying very close attention to you and they want to get to know you better. Um, there is... Uh, this person could have a very positive, expansive nature. Um, they could be uh, a little dramatic. They could have like a tendency towards a little bit of entitlement or they could do things in excess. Um, so you just have to watch out for any red flags if you see that happening. People's actions definitely mean more than their words especially with the high priestess because the high priestess is about using your intuition um, it's about having peace in your life um, and that's very important when you are in a love relationship to have peace there's also a little bit of mystery and that's going to draw you in that's probably if you're partnered already there's a little bit of mystery about that person and it drew you in or there was some mystery in you and that drew them to you which is so beautiful and um, with the high priestess though they really take um, this role of, of being quiet and learning when to speak and when not to speak and it's just about keeping to yourself with you know don't don't get involved with other people's drama it's a really bad karma to do that um, just reflect on what's going on if, if there's something that's I feel like there's something that maybe you want to make a decision on about a partner or maybe if you're looking for a new partner maybe you met somebody but there's you have a little you need to pause a little bit and reflect and kind of watch their um, watch the way that they act and see how they show up before you really give yourself away to somebody. And um, some of you I see are just on a very mutual spiritual level together. And um, maybe you wanna just take a little bit of extra time in this busy season to get back in touch with your soul. And um, you know, find some moments of silence and allow that inner voice of yours to talk to you. Um, you're already full of joy, you're already full of goodwill, and you know what's best for you. You definitely have um, 
a very broad and curious mind and a great style of speaking and people are drawn to that so um, there could be somebody even on the outside even if you're already partnered who has an interest in you so um, just be aware of it um, and just keep being you there's a lot of joy there's a lot of goodwill right now and I see that most of you are happily happily partnered and this this could be a little call for change whether you want to ramp up the passion in your life or you want to maybe experiment a little bit more um, in the bedroom or just trying some different things I mean I can't imagine a Sag not trying everything anyway but just um let this let the uh other person spoil you a little bit sag and because they do want you so let them let them spoil you and i just feel a lot of happy warm positive elements are coming true for you and your person so congratulations 